Good morning, everybody. Welcome to CCN Sunrise. My name is Derek Chevalier. Very happy to be here with you. My guest this morning is Catherine Chevalier. Yes, my daughter. <laughs> Catherine, sometimes called Cat. <laughs> This morning, she's here to talk about her research on women and political campaigns. Uh, her research won first place in the GW Research Days competition. We're going to talk about the, some of the dynamics. So welcome to the show. So happy Hello, you're here. Hello. Thank you for having me. So tell us a little bit about your research. What was the topic? Sure. So I did my research on uh, women and the gender gap in political ambition um, and how that relates to media coverage. So it was how likely women are to run or... Sure. So previous political science research has established that um, what keeps women from having an equal um, representation in office is not, in fact, gender bias, but a lack of women running for office. Um, so we've established that about candidate emergence. And I was interested in what mechanisms are keeping women from wanting to run for office. And I thought media coverage of elections could be one of those things. So I decided to design an experiment and test it. So one of the... the what you looked at had to do with whether or not the media looked at a campaign as sort of a horse race or whether the media focused on policy aspects. Is that right? Sure. Well, more if the media wrote about campaigns in the tone of horse race or of policy. So horse race media coverage is um, when the media covers an election and focuses um, disproportionately on things like fundraising, poll numbers, and kind of talks like politics like they're a sport as opposed to focusing on political campaigns as more of a policy driven um, kind of affair. So would you agree that most people assume that women do not raise as much money or they're not as likely to win a campaign? Sure, what well we actually have poll numbers. From, we, we have information from Pew Research Center that shows us that the majority of Americans believe that women have a more difficult time getting elected to um, political office. And that's not to say that women don't face unique and specific challenges when they're running for office, and they certainly deal with um, things that male candidates don't necessarily have to. But when we look um, at the House level, um, women win just as often as men. Uh, and really? they're just as likely to win. They're just as likely to fundraise um, as much money, and they have just they have an equal uh, chance of winning an election. So it's really just a matter of getting women to win, which is why I decided to do my research because I want to identify the mechanisms that are keeping women from wanting to run, and make sure we dismantle those mechanisms and get some women in office. So would you say that you first need to focus on the media's attention on the competitive nature in order to increase? Encourage women to run, or if women understand that they're less likely to run when there's a horse race perspective, should they just realize that and run anyway? What's your opinion? I think I think it's a combination of both, right? So, as with any um, um, injustice or inequality, it's it's a kind of a, a marriage of mechanisms that are that are keeping women from being in office. And one of them is certainly the perception of bias. Um, many women fear running f for office because they are concerned that they will be discriminated against. So part of it is just education. And then the other part is kind of working on dismantling some of these larger institutions. So the media, um, the way that we treat women, um, in the way that we talk about them in journalism, the way that we portray women on TV, those are all certainly moving parts and I, I, I definitely think that it's kind of a combination of things. So what about the qualifications of women? What did your research tell you there? Sure. Well, it's not necessarily my research, but we do oh. know from previous political science research that women who have the exact qualifications of, of men in office are less likely to want to run for office um, than, than men. So they see themselves as being less qualified despite having the same credentials. And my research revealed that women who have the exact same qualifications as men when exposed to the exact same type of journalism, um, when exposed to uh, horse race journalism, uh, rather, are less likely to want to run, which tells us that there could be something innate inside of horse race 
news coverage and an aggressive news media tone that keeps women from viewing themselves as as possible candidates. So that's pretty fascinating. The biggest part being understanding that a horse race perspective in the media really doesn't tell the whole story. It's really that if you run, they will vote and you might win. <laughs> exactly, yeah. A horse, horse race coverage certainly creates um, a politics as sport environment, um, which is unfortunate because as we know, um, people who participate in local elections, many positions go uncontested and people run they're much less competitive than i think people perceive that they are and horse race coverage can increase um the perception that elections are these blood baths where people are just going after each other and kind of make women less likely to want to participate well that's fascinating thank you for sharing your research with us and congratulations on your win you. and i look forward to hearing lots more of in the future <laughs> thank you <laughs> thanks so much <laughs> thanks for joining us and we'll See you next time, CCN Sunrise. Thank you.